2D animation is one of the biggest pillars of entertainment today. Despite the rise of new animation types, such as 3D animation, 2D animation remains in demand. With the creativity of many artists, we see many beautiful animations in several styles that tell captivating stories and contribute to art movements. A lot of the old Disney 2D animated movies are still talked about today and had a great impact on culture and society. This actually inspires many people to start their own projects, which is probably why you're here. Or maybe you're just curious as how much 2D animation costs. Well, you're in the right place either way. As 2D animation itself is such a behemoth of a subject, we thought that dive in the discussion about each animation type would be best. With all that being said, and without further ado, let's jump right in. But wait, hold on a second. Are you interested in learning animation? Dynamic animation with 2D and 3D illustration might be just the course for you. Your instructors from Domestica are the creative directors and co-founders of Adventure Studio, Willie and Jill Russell. The studio collaborated with huge names like Google, Buck, and Imaginary Forces. You'll start this course by learning how to get inspired through exploring references, creating a concept for your story, and writing a visual script. After that, you'll take your visual script to the storyboard and start creating your scenes frame by frame in Photoshop. Next, you'll design your character and create your style frames. You'll decide which element you would want to be 2D or 3D in your animation, because there is some modeling in this course inside Cinema 4D, using box and poly modeling techniques. After that, you'll jump to After Effects, build your 2D character and keyframe its movements throughout the sequence. You'll finish the course by compositing everything together and exporting your video to share it with the world. You can benefit from 10% off at checkout using our promo code. Links and code will be in the description box below. When we say animation movie here, we mean big budget full feature movies, something like Spirited Away or Anastasia, which cost 19.2 million US dollars and 53 million US dollars respectively to make. If we take Spirited Away as an example, we have a movie with two hours and five minutes. That's 125 minutes. If we divide 19 million by 125 minutes, that will give us 152k, meaning it probably took $152,000 to make one minute of Spirited Away. It's worth noting that this is purely mathematical and does not take into consideration all the intricacies of animated movie making processes. For these movies, the prices are so big, and they're not even as big as they're supposed to, if you take inflation into consideration. When we talk about 2D animation movies, we're not only thinking of the animation itself, but also a lot of other elements. For example, narrative work. You need writers to tell your story in an appealing way, and to organize narrative beats and plot lines. You don't want to be spending a fortune on a movie only to end up with an unappealing story or one that is not worth telling. A lot of concept art is also needed to figure out how your animated movie is going to look. What vibe and feel is it going to give? This is crucial for a consistent theme and feel to your story. Another thing is voice actors and good ones at that. A bad delivery of your character's lines can really mess up your story. Among other things, music, soundtrack, and sound engineering are also very important. A lot of people not only remember Spirited Away for its story and animation, but also its music and melodies, which were so enchanting. This is not all of it though. This is just a fraction of what is needed to get your project going. So all of that, and then some, taken into consideration, you can probably see why such movies get such big budgets. There are also other animated movies that are well loved and known, but have a lesser budget than their counterparts, even if their impact was just as big. 
One great example would be Disney's 1942 Bambi that cost 858,000 US dollars. I mean, sure, inflation is playing a big role in this, as today, that would cost around 14 million dollars. And even though this is one big price tag, it doesn't compare to Disney's other features, such as Tangled, for example, released in 2010, which cost 260 million dollars. All right, listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you leave me no choice. Here comes the smolder. We actually know. That's kind of an unfair comparison since 3D is a lot costlier to make. But still, 260 knocks, 14 out of the park, and then some. Using the budget of Bambi, inflation unaccounted for, would get you a very small and extremely simplistic animated movie. Okay, let's be incredibly generous and say one minute of a movie would cost you $10,000 and you have $800,000 to spend. Let's take 200k of the mix of all the extra work that goes into it. Remember, we are being incredibly generous here. You only have 600k to spend on your movie. That would give you a movie of about an hour or probably a lot less. And that's just the animation part. Strictly getting your concept just animated Granted, we took 200k out of the mix for voiceover acting, music, storytelling, blah blah blah, etc. But that's not enough. This would result in a very simplistic, low-budget movie. Animes are very expensive to make, and that's to be expected as they require a lot of work and labor. Anime shows are expected to cost anywhere from 1.2 million to 4 million dollars. And that, of course, depends entirely on how many episodes there are. Obviously, the more episodes, the bigger the cost. The single average episode of an anime would cost anywhere between 100,000 and 300,000. But in truth, the cost of animation in general depends on many factors, like art style, special effects, character number, length, etc. Usually, when wanting to get pricing for such things, you'll get a quote, depending on what you want. Western animations do not differ much from Japanese animated shows. Andre Matrix writes in an article, The average cost for a cartoon show like Steven Universe, American Dragon, Cat Dog, Cow and Chicken, Hey Arnold, The Fairy Odd Parents is 300,000 to 600,000 per episode. This is slightly more expensive than anime shows, but then again, it's all relative to many things, as we said before, like the art style, the effects, and many, many different elements that go into production. For these kinds of animations, we're looking for a much smaller studio to do the job, or a freelancer. It all depends on what you want to get. If you're seeking a small studio, you'll probably be charged around $1,000 per minute. Small studios offer a much better result for that price, in comparison to something you might get from a freelancer on Fiverr for $100. The former would offer a much more fluid and professional-looking animation, perhaps hand-drawn, using a frame-by-frame -frame technique, in comparison to the latter, which you probably would get a motion graphic animation at best. And, of course, this is not counting the voiceover and the script. Those have to be paid for extra if you're dealing with a studio. I mean, if they happen to offer that. Otherwise, you might have to scout for it yourself if you're going the freelance route. So, again, it all depends on the factors you have at hand. Let's say you want a professional and clean-looking vector animation of about 2 minutes with voiceover and a bit of music that might cost you anywhere from $2,000 to $3,000. Or it could be even higher. If there are more minutes and more characters, effects, blah blah blah, you get the idea. Okay, now let's explore another perspective. Let's say you want to make your own little or big animation project. How much would that cost you? 
let's say you're doing the animation and story writing yourself, maybe even the voice acting. The cost here would be in equipment and software. You have to get a graphics tablet and a computer. Say the computer is something already at your disposal. The cheapest tablet would cost you around $60. As for animation software, you can get something for free, like Krita for example. The other cost here would be time, a lot of time. However, if you're going the costly route, let's say you get the Wacom Cintiq 16 drawing tablet, which would cost you from $650 to $1,200. For the software, picking something like Adobe Animate would cost you around $21 per month. Maybe you'll want to get a powerful PC to support the software, etc, etc. It's all about your needs and wants. And most importantly, your intention with your projects. If it's just for fun, there are plenty of cheap and free equipment and software that you can get yourself to get started. But if you happen to want the more professional stuff, you have that option too. It's just that it's gonna be more costly. With technology and the access it provides us, our limit is the sky. Now there are tablets and even phones on which you can draw and animate. So really, the possibilities are endless. We've reached the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed it and that you now have an idea of how the animation works on a financial level. Animation is certainly a great art form. However, it's surely expensive and rightfully so. Animators around the world work so hard and study their subjects and disciplines so incredibly well that we are bestowed with the most beautiful animations ever. When you observe all the beautiful details, you can't help but think that it's completely justified as the amount of work and labor that goes into animation is simply a lot. Again, we hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check our video about where 2D animation is used if you're really interested in the topic. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.